This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Rockstar recently announced a port of Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare for Nintendo Switch and PS4. It's been rumored for years that this would be a remake. Red Dead 2 even had areas from Red Dead 1, making the rumor seem even more likely. Sadly for many gamers, this wasn't the case. Instead, Rockstar took a more simpler approach. They decided to bump up the resolution, 1080p for Switch and PS4, and 4K for PS5. As of now, there is no mention of frame rate increase, and there is no PS5 physical version. All of this for $50. Gamers, of course, are very upset, accusing Rockstar games of being greedy. Complaints about the lack of new games, the botched GTA collection, GTA 5 becoming the new Skyrim, with multiple ports across generations. It's understandable why gamers are fed up, but I'm here to give a different perspective. For $50, you're getting a classic game. Plus, it's critically acclaimed DLC. And to me, this is a steal. Between the two games, the average player will get around 40 hours of gameplay, even more if you become immersed in this Western drama. You may be wondering why there is no Xbox version. That's because it's on Xbox with backwards compatibility. Many are using this as a dig to Rockstar Games and more reasons to why they're a greedy, money-hungry company. As you can buy this game physically for around $30, but don't let anyone mislead you. This version of the game is upscaled with an emulator. And admittedly, it does look good. However, many elements like screen tearing, low quality shadows, jagged lines, and many other glitches and oddities are still here. Don't forget that this is still technically the Xbox 360 version. So all issues that version had still exist in the Xbox Series X version. Many of the things that I mentioned will most likely be fixed in the port, making the Xbox One argument very irrelevant. Sure, if you're on Xbox, you could probably find the game used for very cheap. However, digitally, the game still goes for around $30. And if you want Undead Nightmare, you're gonna have to add on an extra $10. And because Rockstar is relying on the backwards compatibility version for Xbox gamers, that means they're missing out on this new version of the game. But I blame this on Microsoft, as Microsoft has slowly but surely been pushing gamers away from physical media. And Rockstar probably figured it would be no point of releasing this version on Xbox when they have a decent version of the game already ultimately leaving the Xbox community with the worst version of Red Dead Redemption for next generation. Now, online is also missing as well, but this is for a good reason. Red Dead's online community is mostly dead, and the last time I played it, there were actually hackers online as well. And honestly, it'll be a waste of time for them to put that in the new version of the game, especially with Rockstar focusing on their next big game, Grand Theft Auto 6 investing into unnecessary features would be unwise. I don't think Rockstar is being money hungry here. If they decide to go all out on a remake, I could see the same people complaining about them not focusing on GTA 6. Right now, Rockstar fans are doing what all fans do. They are simply whining and complaining. Although I do miss Rockstar putting out multiple releases like they did in the past, I fully understand the position Rockstar is currently in. Grand Theft Auto V was a huge game, especially with its online community. Most of us knew GTA V would be popular, but I don't think anyone, not even Rockstar, saw the monumental success that would come their way. GTA V's online community is so successful that people are actually making money off of Rockstar's own product. It takes a lot of manpower and resources to maintain such a big experience. So although I do agree with you all about them not releasing new games, it's understandable due to the success of GTA 5 and their current priorities. For those that never played Red Dead Redemption, or even those that have played it but want to experience it all over again, 
Do not let these whiners and complainers stop you from experiencing this masterpiece. And with it coming to the Switch, you could even play it on the go. I implore you not to miss out on Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me? You always were one for fancy words. Ha <laughs> ha